everybody. I want to talk about objectifying the body and objectifying ourselves, the small self, as I sometimes call it. And um, I'm balancing this out because I've always talked about identifying and having awareness with the body and with the self and spreading out from there. But there are times in our lives when objectification is really helpful. And I've just been learning about this recently in myself and with a couple of students. So, so in myself, what I realized is that when I'm pushing my body in any way, when I'm going top down, if I'm telling myself to have good posture or you know, I'm making myself run up my mountain and I'm tired. Any of those times, I don't have great access to a non-dual experience of my body. And that's a great time to come from a place of compassion to my body. And what I've discovered is that when I do that, then it's so much more profound to either correct my posture or run up the mountain when I'm tired. It's uh, the postural cor correction coming from a place of compassion is I'm so much more motivated and I can feel more deeply. So I'm thinking of my upper thoracic, which is a problem area for me. I feel more deeply into it if I think, okay, you know, I'm all slumped over and think, honey, your back's gonna really hurt if you stay there. So, I, you know, if I'm thinking of this part of my back rather than my pelvic floor or lengthening my spine, all of the things that I tell everybody to do, if I just add this feeling of compassion to my thoracic, upper thoracic spine, then I have more energy for good posture and I feel more deeply through that area that, you know, has become a little bit unconscious from sitting in a bad posture for however long until I notice. So that's about objectifying the body. Objectifying the self is really interesting because it's hard for people to notice. And I think when I've talked about it previously, I've talked about it in the sense of negative self-talk, noticing when you're speaking to yourself in an objectifying manner, you know. So, um, you know, I do that to myself by saying, Come on, honey. Come on, you can do better than that. <sighs> Which was very encouraging at one point in my life. You know, and it was like, yeah, I can do better. Okay, do better. But if I really um, let myself polarize from myself, get more dualistic in my view of myself, and I think, what's going on, honey? And I can feel on a deeper level what's happening in my being. Then I can move into a relationship with my small self, the little self, the self that's developing, that's empowering of the small self and connecting between, you know, what some systems call the higher self, um, what we might call a non-dual awareness, a deeper presence, and this smaller developing aspect of myself where I have this place that I want to go further with. And I can be compassionate to the small self and feel the calling 
of the higher self, the developmental edge, as I call it in uh, body-mind psychotherapy, and the wise self, as I call it in um, Heart Open Body Awake. So I hope that's helpful, and uh, thanks for listening.